Oh, whoa, whoa, wait there, wait there. Where do I know you two from? X Factor. But darling, don't talk about the past. I oh, know, I know. I've seen you, haven't I? Down at the Weatherspoons. They're great baked beans. Yeah, they're yeah. beautiful baked beans. You can't beat a harvester, though. You can beat a harvester, Stevie. <laughs> come on, through you come. OK. Oh, what Thank a gentleman. You. Claimant Chloe is bringing boyfriend Stevie to court for ruining her property. Defendant Stevie claims it is not ruined and he was using it to feel closer to her. Holy Hi guys. shit! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Judge Ramesh. Hello. Nice. How nice. are you? I'm... This is uh... surreal. So, yeah, it's very <laughs> surreal. Yes. Uh, it's not Paul McCartney. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have Chloe <laughs> Jasmine and Stevie Ritchie. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you, sir. Good, thank you. Now, Chloe, you are our claimant. Could you explain why it is you've brought this man, what crime is committed against you that you are claiming for in our court today? First degree, lancery. First degree what, sorry? Lancery. Lancery? Was that, Boyle? <laughs> and violation of intellectual property. OK, um, I've got to be honest with you, I've only really got a B-tech in law. <laughs> So, so far, I, I really haven't understood a single let, let word you said. Let me boil it down for you, John. Sure, <laughs> please, boil it down, fry it, souffle it, whatever <laughs> you got to do so I can understand what you're on about, please. I can, I can sauté it down Great, for you. brilliant. Go for it. This gentleman, Stephen Andrew Ritchie, has been wearing my underwear. Looks like he's got your jacket on at the moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does he regularly doing this? Yes. OK. And he blamed it on the cat. He blamed it on the cat. <laughs> the scratches, the stretches, the soiled panties. Jesus Christ. Sorry, did he leave a skidder in your underwear? That... <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, Your Honour. I mean, I don't have a problem with him wearing it. No. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Don't shit in the girl's knickers. And what underwear are we talking about here? It's no longer in my possession. I, I can't look at it. It's, it's a mess. It's in my possession, actually, Chloe. You've got the underwear. Let's, oh, yes. Can we see it? Has it been de-skidded? Um, they are washed, Your Honour. This... That's really Well, gonna... I can see why you might have tried to blame the cat for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite. Really? Yeah, I like that one. And we actually have a photo of you in this. Oh, well, I don't think we need to see, see it, do we? <laughs> the evidence. <laughs> I'll tell you why I do it, right? It's because I feel close to Chloe right. when I don't get enough love. Chloe's very busy with modelling at the moment, so... So are you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, there is a future for me, hopefully. No, there but... isn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stevie, uh, the reason that you're wearing... Oh, sorry, 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 can I just jump in here? Yes, sure, go You're on. an adult. Call yourself Steve. <laughs> Stevie for a grown man is <laughs> creepy. I find that actually creepier than the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just please. So no, I'll take you a little bit more seriously then. Steve. <laughs> I need to uh, establish. Has the underwear been damaged, Chloe? I would say so. In, yes. in what way? <sighs> well, in every way possible. It's, it's been stretched, tarnished, used. To be fair, she's a very small girl. He's ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be baggy on you, and then you're going to have saggy tits, and that's not nice. How much did that? How much did that? Uh, I believe. Cost you? I believe the retail price on that was four hundred and twenty pounds. You have oh. no respect. Yeah, but oh, like, oh, that's ridiculous. And twenty pounds. It was made from the tears of Jesus, Your Honour. No, it's it was made from the tears of <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, I saw you coming, didn't I? <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that one of Jesus's tears has been up Stevie's crack. <laughs> So what are you asking for? You're asking for him to pay for new underwear? I'm asking him to communicate with me more and tell me when he has these urges and, and let it not lead to this. Stevie, yeah. are you into wearing ladies' underwear? Is that a thing you like doing? Well, do you know what? Every bloke in here can back me up. I bet you're in touch with your feminine side, ain't you, eh? So, yeah, you but know they're not what? in touch with the feminine inside. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> just by a show of hands, of the men in here, how many of you have on, worn lads, women's underwear by show of hands, please? Hands up. I'm going to throw it in. <laughs> I've never shat in a pair of women's knickers, but I've worn it. Yes. Can I just have a chat with this gentleman over here, please? What's your name, sir? Tim. Tim. Hello, Tim. Uh, address? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. So, Tim, uh, you've worn women's underwear once? Yes. And can you explain why, please? 
Uh, we was at a party. We was right. all wearing women's underwear. OK. <laughs> did you go in the underwear or did you put it on at the party? <laughs> <laughs> I think Tim's committed a crime. <laughs> Uh, go on, Tim. We Love went you, with Tim. the underwear on. You went with the underwear on? We did. And how did it feel wearing the underwear? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Tim, based on your experience, how do you feel in terms of the... You know, if you were judging on this, who would you side with uh, in this regard? Stevie. You side with Stevie. OK. Uh, Chloe, I think I'm about ready to make a judgement here. Could you make your final statement? Please. I'd like to hang out my dirty laundry. Just don't wear my underwear, is what I want to say. Why? Why do you need to? Uh, Stevie, could you give yeah. us your closing statement, please? It's my entitlement to wear the woman I love's laundry. Well, I don't think okay, it is. Uh, Stevie. <laughs> 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 it, it's not actually your entitlement. Ha okay, yeah. uh, so I'm going to make a final judgment on this. The fact of the matter is, is that I don't think there's anything wrong if you like wearing women's Thank underwear you, to give Ramesh. it a go. However, mm. I would say that taking Chloe's without her consent and skittering it is <laughs> unacceptable. So I'm going to rule that what you need to do... Hmm. First of all, you're going to replace Chloe's underwear. You're going to buy yourself a separate set of underwear that Chloe can spray some of her perfume or whatever, and whenever you want to get creepy and fruity, <laughs> you know, feel closer to Chloe, whatever it is, the terrifying things that you were saying, you can do that whenever you want. So I am ruling in favour of the claimant. Thank you very much. Off you go. <laughs> In conclusion, I'm incredibly happy with today's ruling. I'm so glad that Stephen can be honest about his... whatever it is he does, and <laughs> I'm thrilled that he's buying his very own set of bra and panties. Will you walk around the house in knickers <laughs> and, and women's underwear together, or...? <laughs> sort of saying you're bringing to your relationship now, or...? Would you like to? I would love that, babe. Awesome! Yeah. I think that's a tag t too yeah. much, yes. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. That's a nice little sentiment. So, uh, well, why don't you two crack on, go and get a pair of knickers on, yeah. um, and uh, do what you do. Yeah, I, well, I feel uh, Stephen, that, you know... Oh, that's sorry. enough, son. OK, all right, thank you. That's enough. Thank you. On you go, well done. All right, thank you. Uh, through the door, Steve. Chloe, oh. there's a door. We've, <laughs> there we've a door. built a set with a door. <laughs> we just can't no, get out of here. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, my... That's what their house must look like. <laughs>